Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I think the title of this video will be uh, Egotism, Judgmentalism, and Dogmatism. Uh, I have made two uh, videos uh, previously that are kind of related to this. I will add these uh, links to the description uh, box in this video. The, those videos are called Top 5 Reasons People Reject Christianity, and the second one is Why Most Christians Make Me Sick. So you may want to watch those videos too if you find this video uh, interesting or helpful. But basically, what I want to talk about today is the problem of egotism, judgmentalism, and dogmatism. Uh, first, let me say that uh, uh, if you watch many of my videos, it's inescapable. You must know that I, I believe and I teach that there are basically three core doctrines that are essential in Christianity, and that is Jesus is eternal God Almighty, that salvation is a free gift we receive through faith alone, in Christ alone, and that once we re receive the free gift of salvation and eternal life, we have eternal security. We can never lose our salvation for any reason. So those are the core doctrines that I think define Christianity. Now there's hundreds of other subjects in the Bible, uh, and the, the, there's hundreds of conclusions or doctrines that we we derive by studying the, the Bible, and I think that all the other subjects, apart from these three, are minor in comparison. So what I believe in is that uh, I am dogmatic on these three essential doctrines. That means that not only am I absolutely convinced these are true and essential, but I will not have fellowship with someone who does not hold those three doctrines. Uh, because I don't believe they are a Christian if they don't, and fellowship can only happen between fellow believers. So I'm dogmatic on these three core doctrines, and then all the other subjects or doctrines and questions in the Bible, I believe that we should be able to uh, have a cordial, interesting discussion, and uh, when we disagree, still be patient and loving with each other, and not divide over the, these other subjects. They are minor in comparison, and we should tolerate other people's opinions. So basically, those are the four points that I think that are important if I'm going to have a relationship with someone. And then, now getting to the problem at hand. I've met some people that have told me up front they do not hold to, it, to these three core doctrines. Uh, and... Uh, and then I've met other people that say they do hold to these core doctrines, uh, but uh, they also have a list of other doctrines that they think are so important that they, they will not tolerate other opinions. And then there's other people that tell me, well, they hold to the core doctrines, they can tolerate other opinions on the lesser uh, doctrines, but then I discover later, maybe weeks, months, or years later, I discover that they don't really have the tolerance that they claim to have. That uh, eventually there comes a point where there's some disagreement on doctrine and they will unsubscribe, they, they will block, they'll shun uh, because they are not really as tolerant as they uh, originally claimed they were. And I think the idea of egotism, judgmentalism, and dogmatism apply to this. Egotism because this kind of person uh, basically thinks they're infallible. They think they're right on everything, theologically. Uh, they, they do not even see the possibility that they could be wrong. Uh, now, it, if you, if, 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 in order to be infallible on all these doctrines, you'd have to understand every single word, every single verse in the Bible perfectly. Every, every theological question, you would not only have to understand it, but you would have to uh, make your conclusion on the correct side of the question every single time. Now, do you think that you can do that? Do you think that you are correct on everything theologically? I don't think I am. I, I think I am fallible. 
I know that I've made some mistakes in the past uh, because in the past I held a position and then by discussing it with other people I've been persuaded and changed my mind. So obviously I think that uh, I was wrong, so I changed my mind. So if, I know that if I had been con state that I've been wrong in the past, then I also must also consider it as a possibility that maybe I am wrong on some other things even today. So I, I know that uh, uh, I'm not infallible, but I'm encountering some people that have such egos, it seems that they think it's impossible for them to be wrong, and then they end up, uh, since they think they're right, every time they uh, examine everything that uh, we write or that we say, they are scrutinizing it, and as soon as they find any dis discrepancy, anything that they deem is wrong, they make a judgment and judge that that's wrong. And uh, th this kind of judgmentalism is uh, um, takes an awful lot of ego to believe that you can proclaim that you know the other person's wrong uh, emphatically. Uh, there is a possibility that maybe you're wrong. So uh, then that judgmentalism then will lead to the dogmatism. And the dogmatism is a problem because uh, it's okay to be dogmatic in terms of hold, being uh, feeling very confident in your position on a doctrine. But what I'm referring to in dogmatism is they take it a step further and say that uh, uh, not only am I right and you're wrong, but because I disagree with you on this minor doctrine, uh, I'm making it into a major doctrine and I have, I have to disassociate myself with you. So dividing over the lesser important doctrines is what I call the, the dog, dogmatism. I, I have a whole playlist titled Dogmatists. So I've, I've already addressed this problem in numerous videos. But I'm, uh, the reason I'm making this video now is because that uh, I, I, I've encountered numerous people that seem to think that, uh, you know, maybe uh, they're like the Catholics see the Pope as infallible. Maybe they, maybe they see themselves as infallible. And uh, therefore, uh, when there's a disagreement that you're absolutely wrong and, and, and they make it so important that they got to sever the relationship. And I, I find that unfortunate, very, very unfortunate. That's one of the biggest problems, I think, in Christendom today, this kind of an attitude. So I would ask you to examine yourself and, and look in the mirror and what kind of a person are you? Uh, do you? Do you agree with these basic core doctrines I've espoused? Jesus is God Almighty, eternal God Almighty. Faith alone in Christ alone is all that's required for salvation. Eternal security, we can never lose our salvation. Tolerance for other people's opinions on the minor doctrines. If you, you agree on those things, I think that's wonderful. But unfortunately, some people, they say that they do that. And then they fi find out later that uh, they can't because their ego causes them to be judgmental and then become dogmatic and then divisive and it leads to you know severed relationships all right well i hope that uh i've given you something i think very important to think about and i'll be looking forward to your opinions on this and uh, if you haven't already put your faith in jesus i'm going to ask you right now to uh, stop believing in a religion to save you Stop believing in your own ability to live a good life and satisfy God and somehow earn heaven through personal merit. And instead, put all your faith in our Savior, Jesus Christ. So a Christian is simply a person who, who depends completely on Christ for their salvation. So will you do that? If you do decide to put your faith completely in Jesus now, Make a comment, let me know. I'd love to hear that good news. So um, I pray that you're all blessed, and I pray that you will learn to rest in the love and grace of our great Savior God. His name is Jesus Christ.